Good day, folks. Welcome back to another time video. Um, we're back. It's been a while. I know. Uh, I hope all you guys had a wicked season. Um, I know we did. Pretty awesome year, uh, considering. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, we're back doing some tying. Tying season is upon us. So I thought we would get started with some videos right off the get-go. Um, so this first one is called the Double Duty and kind of serves as a chronomy pupa and larva pattern. Um, it's tied with some new stuff from Canadian Llama. Um, these uh, Paragon buzzer quills. And this is what they look like here. So this is the peacock color and um, Daiichi 1760 um, black nickel bead. And I'm just tying in with some uh, red UTC uh, 70. <clears throat> For my rib, I'm just going to use some regular red flashaboo. Uh, so it's not the holographic. It is just the plain red. And I'll tuck that in right behind the bead and run that the length of the shank. And that's just going to keep everything even. And then I'll grab one strand of this um, buzzer quill. So the reason for the red thread, um, sorry, all I did there was cut that to a little point and then I just capture it right at the very back with some nice tight wraps and then it squishes down. It's a super thin material, so it's really easy to work with. Um, it's a little bit delicate. Uh, so just be careful when you wrap it up. I say that now, watch, I'll probably break it, but it's not so bad. Um, but it is see-through. So you, um, the red thread will come through, especially in certain light. So um, it'll act, look kind of a, almost a shiny green color when you tie it. Um, much like peacock would be, but when you get it in the water, or if you look under certain light conditions, you will see that it looks very much a bleeding red color. So really, really neat stuff. So when you wrap this, try not to overlap your wraps too much. You want to allow that red thread to come through. So just keep your wraps side by side, just like so. And then just a couple tie off up here and we can get rid of the excess. There we go. <clears throat> All right, now I'll take my flashaboo and I'm just going to rib this thing. Just like so. So just nice uh, segmentation with the flashaboo. And then we will get that out of there as well. Without cutting my thread. There we go. <clears throat> now, if you want to, at this point, you can um, take a Sharpie and blacken uh, the red thread, but I quite like the little red collar on this thing. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and go straight into a whip finish. Like so. Trim that out of there. And so, you know, I don't use resin a lot. Well, those that have you that are those of you that are new won't know that. Uh, so if you joined us this summer, um, I don't use resin a whole lot. We prefer to use crazy glue on most of our bugs just because it's about the most durable thing out there. Um, however, there's a, I still feel like there's a, a time and a place for resin. And these translucent type materials 
uh, in my opinion, really benefit from the resin. So it just magnifies um, that material underneath and just allows that red to pop through that much more. So this is Deer Creek, but use the uh, resin of your choice. <clears throat> so I just give that a nice light coating and give it a zap. And that's about all there is to it. So um, like I say, right now looks pretty peacock green. Um, you may have already seen in the picture at the beginning of the video and there'll be another one at the end where it's fairly uh, blood red. So again, it just depends on the light angle. That's what makes it such a neat material. And uh, that's why it allows you to kind of double up and rep a larva and a pupa at the same time. So, um, yeah, that's about all there is to it. That is the double duty. Tie it, fish it, and I don't think it'll disappoint. So, good to be back. We've got uh, a ton of good videos coming down the pipe for you this season. So, stay tuned. We've got a few months of tying ahead of us, and we'll have lots of patterns out for you. So, that's the double duty. Thanks very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And until the next one, cheers and tight lines.